Hello there YouTube, this is RedFox468 and yes, I'm back and ready to make some new videos. I hope you have enjoyed some of my other videos. So we already took a break and we're ready to start drawing again. My bad. Um So first of all, someone requested me to draw some props. Like for scenes I guess when you're gonna have, I don't know, um, a, so a fighting scene or something like that, I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, originally, I was gonna make a camera, but the only camera I have is the one that I'm using there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mm, create something dif different. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a billboard or something like that where you hold pieces of paper and um, draw one piece of paper on it and that's about it. Okay, so here we have, we zoomed in and everything. I've already drawn some lines, a basic rectangle, that's all you're going to need. Get yourself a clear ruler, really helps. So, you know, pause this video, get a pen, get a paper, get some pencils, and start drawing with me, along with me with this video, or else you're not going to learn. So, since we're going to create this kind of billboard thing, billboard thing we're going to need another set of lines. I choose mine to be around at a fair decent um, thickness here. Just keep doing this. One round. Okay. Any axis of line, axis or uh, any lines that you don't need, erase them. Get them out of the way. There we go. L little framework here. But then we're gonna actually have to cut this in half. Well, not in half, basically, but in the corners we have to draw these little edges to show that, you know, there are woods that they've been put together. I guess you can darken this line a bit, make it a little bit jaggy, a little bit, well not straight, if you want, I mean you don't have to. Next is drawing wood. Now there's been many cases in drawing wood, personally me, I like to draw just a set of lines that will represent somewhat texture of wood. So we're gonna have um, the the wood little lines going up this way, and for and for like the ones that are these this way. So if the wood structure is going up, that's the line. Uh, that's how the lines are gonna be the wood structures are her horizontal that's how the lines are gonna be so there we go. just draw a few lines here Little by little, you see, it represents it somewhat. You 
because it, it gives it a good texture. Now, if you can see this, is can also be a one point perspective. I mean, just imagine like a window right here. You could also do that. If you don't see it, uh, then my bad, but I see it right here. Sorry for the out of focus on this thing. And we'll keep on doing this. You know how trees lines are not just always straight, but they're little lines, basically they're little lines being drawn in in a type of wavy um in a wave pattern. So okay, just imagine a river. A river and within that river there are fishes swimming to get some together in a line and some they're not but they're always going with the flow of the river so I mean that's the best way I can <laughs> put it And we continue with the other side. This is a good way of drawing what textures, if you would like textures. If you like for me to dr show you how to draw more textures, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, I will gladly show you how. Well, actually, in my way of drawing textures. And finally, here. It's kind of difficult for me to get it how I want it from the way I am right now since the camera's like right in front of me Now that we have that done, we can start getting the textures of, well, um, what's it called? Cork. So, corks, there's not, there's not much of textures, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna zoom in so we can have a better look at it. Okay, so I've zoomed in here and, um, yes, to draw some textures of corks just a dot or like I don't know I mostly just draw dots on it wow that's like a pentagon like right there <laughs> basically drawing dots or if you want you can also just draw little tiny circles a few of them you don't have to put that many just happy face <laughs> oh. just 
to feel like that. I mean, it doesn't have to be a super detailed or anything. Just to let people know that, hey, this is a a board or whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's called. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. Um, just draw a few. And then we're gonna draw a paper later on. Like, draw little tiny small circles like that. You can, you can also use um, dots. That's how I said. And I keep repeating myself. But <laughs> connect the dots. Sorry, it's it's a lame, lame joke of the day, of the day. All right. Now after doing that, we're let's say that this person prefers to have papers mostly here then over here or we're just gonna draw one piece of paper right here so what let's just have a small piece of paper like that trying to convey the feeling of paper being fold Something like this. There we go. Now I can't remember exactly how this goes. Um, either I think it'll be better on this side and this th this side. Yeah. Uh, don't connect the two lines here. Just zoom in. Try to see. Okay. Where is that line? Where is this line? Okay. When drawing folds, make sure not to connect the lines. Barely. But there. Probably just this one. So wherever the fold happens, don't connect these two lines. Cause it's more of a folding folded side. And you know what? Uh, here. They have a little thumb tag right here. Pretty far, pretty much okay. No biggie. Then we can start writing some stuff like, uh, like that, something like this. And there we go. We're pretty much done making the billboard and thing. Um, if you're drawing cartoon or anything like that, make sure the 
The lines are fairly thick. I mean, for example, for man manga, manga, if what makes manga pop out is the thick lines on the outer lines. The oh, I forgot the terminology here. Um, the outer lines. Oh, I can't remember. Let me know in the description if you do know it. <laughs> Okay, right there. Now then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, start shading. Starting from dark to light, like that. So that gives it more of a three D effect. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, but that's basically it. Mostly when I'm drawing, I just like to relax and not do anything much. But we go. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out now. And there we go. That's a little uh, small way of drawing billboards and stuff and yeah let's see to-do list there you go Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know this was short, short, and I pre pretty much I think you like it to be short. So yes, please comment, subscribe, rate, like all of those little things that happen. Subscribe um, to this channel; it won't hurt you. Matter of fact, they might even help you with other ways of drawing other things. I don't like to stay with one thing. I like to do more things for realistic cartoon all of that you just have to let me know <clears throat> and i'll know which video or what, or what i have to do in the next video so thank you for watching and uh yeah let's hope i can make another one next week <laughs>